Hi guys, my name's Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I created a lot of content for MSPs. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to enroll iOS devices into Microsoft Intune. Today's video is gonna be going over all the different methods of which you can enroll and manage these devices over time. And in subsequent videos, I'll be narrowly focusing in on one of those enrollment methods to show you all the policies you need to create and all the settings you should configure to enroll and manage those devices over time. So getting into it here, when we look at the enrollment methods, we have BYOD, obviously, and cor corporate-owned devices you have as well, too. So from the corporate device management standpoint, there are three major methods of enrolling in those devices and managing them over time, one of which that you guys will probably use most likely is Apple Business Manager. Secondly, we have Apple School Manager, and third is Apple Configurator. Apple Configurator, I'm not going to touch on as much. This is something directly from Apple, but it does require that you connect the iOS devices with a USB cable to Mac devices, and the functionality is really limited. In the MSP space, I consider you guys more managing these with uh, Apple Business Manager, Apple School Manager, primarily ABM here. So starting with Apple Business Manager here, there's really a fundamental list of steps you would take to go ahead and set up this account and manage it over time. The first of which is just enabling and enrolling for an Apple Business Manager account at the customer level. Once you have that set up, you can then federate your domain with Azure Active Directory so that when users sign into an iCloud account from a managed device, they automatically have a managed Apple ID created with their Azure Active Directory credentials and they can sign in to that managed Apple ID with the same credentials they do uh, for Microsoft. So that's a really powerful feature. I created a video series on that that you can check out. Additionally, after that, you can incorporate a reseller ID token within the Apple Business Manager portal so that you can start to procure the hardware devices such as the Macs or iOS devices directly from the reseller and they'll pump in the serial IDs into Apple Business Manager and you can create a token with Intune and create a sync with Intune so that the devices automatically can sync over into the Intune portal as well. And Intune is where you can create all of your custom profiles, configuration policies, compliance policies, applications you want to push out to the devices and things like that. After you have all of that set up, you can in create then enrollment profiles of which you're defining the out-of-box experience for these devices. So they can technically be shipped directly to these end users. You go straight from box to production with all of your settings and policies that you've preset on the device itself in the Intune portal. You can also do the same with Apple School Manager as well too. The portal is just a little bit different, it's just in the sense of the name and some additional functionalities, but the same applies there. So when we look at the other settings here in the sense of automated device enrollment, I wanted to touch on that. So when we look at the configuration here and everything you would need to set up, you can procure these hardware pieces such as the iOS devices or macOS devices directly from the vendor. You have the reseller ID set up within ABM so that you can immediately take their serial devices and upload them into Apple Business Manager. From there, you can then sync those devices over to Intune. And within Intune, you can create the enrollment profiles of which you're defining the out-of-box experience, which entails the settings that the end user would see, such as being able to turn on Siri or configuring an iCloud account, things like that. You as the administrator can also within Intune configure all the compliance policies, the profiles and applications you want to push out to that device. So these could be things like setting the password requirements, the lockout screen settings, things of that nature, and also pushing down any applications you want to onto the device. So when the user gets that device, they can have it immediately shipped to them directly without you having to touch it at all. And when they turn that device on, that's when the automated process comes down as far as the self-deployment of the profile sync and then all the policies and settings and applications that you've configured, you immediately then push down to that device when they boot that up and sign in with their Azure Active Directory credentials. 
So it's a really powerful experience. It's a lot like autopilot if you guys are familiar with that with Microsoft Intune on Windows devices. And this is how you can manage the new devices that come out. And you can also wipe these devices after they're done and reissue them to someone else at that time. So the steps here are reflected that I was going to create another video that goes through the individual settings here so you guys can see all this, but I did want to present it to you. There's quite a bit of steps that you can take here to get everything set up so that all of the management capabilities are working as expected. But these are the primary methods for the corporate owned devices of which you're procuring as the IT administrator. The other half of this is the BYOD methods. So I listed these from least to most restrictive in the sense of uh, admin roles or management capabilities that you would have. So first and foremost, we have app protection policies. This is part of Microsoft's MAM or mobile application management solution. It does allow us to create policies that define quote unquote managed applications. And with that, we can create settings such as restricting save as permissions to unmanaged applications, restricting cut, copy, paste, enforcing that they use a managed application to see and use corporate data. A clear example I can give of that is the user going to their native mail client on the iOS device and trying to set up the corporate uh, email there. So just their Azure Active Directory credentials to try to access Outlook. They would be stopped at that point and, and redirected to the Outlook application in which they're registering so that we can, one, uh, encrypt that data at rest and in transit and also be able to wipe that data at any point in time, whether that user leaves the company or the device is lost or stolen. So that one doesn't require full-on enrollment in the sense of MDM, but it does protect you at the application layer. The second one here is very new. It's in public preview right now. It's user enrollment. So this is more of a lightweight MDM enrollment method that users now have with the company portal app from Intune. So when you download the company portal app, you can enroll these devices. And if you configure the settings, they can choose whether or not they want to enroll at a user level or device level, or you can define that as an admin. The basic premise with user enrollment, it does allow you to have them sign in with a managed Apple ID. So there is that separation of data at the app level. It does allow you to perform some management capabilities, such as setting the password requirements, pushing down VPN profiles or Wi-Fi profiles to the device, but it's not the full subset of MDM that you get with the device enrollment method, which allows you to configure additional settings that you don't fully get with user enrollment, such as wiping or erasing all data on the device. This is actually something that many users have asked for, and it is something that's uh, more pertinent now in a remote workforce. So when we look at the functionality for user enrollment for admins, like I said, you still get all these pertinent functionalities in the sense of security where you want to restrict passwords, you want to be able to separate the application data between personal and corporate, and then automatically remove that data once the employee leaves. Also, there is no device command for erasing all the data. So people who are enrolling BYOD devices are usually hesitant because they're saying you have the ability to wipe my entire device. I would, I would not like you to do that, but I still want to access my corporate data to be productive. That's where this user enrollment gets really powerful. So secondly here, I just wanted to show the separation of data. You have your management Apple ID when they sign into the device using user enrollment. And if you've had Azure Active Directory Federation set up with ABM, it does allow them to create that managed Apple ID at that time with their Azure Active Directory credentials and separate out the managed versus personal Apple ID data. And then at the corporate level using Intune, we can also push down all the applications that are corporately used as well too that they might not be using or backing up to iCloud for instance like a box account or if you want to push down Word and uh, have them just use that for document management on their iPhone or on an iPad as well too. So lastly here, the, the benefits between both corporate and BYOD devices here, you can use that federation to create these managed Apple IDs, it does allow you to separate and manage corporate data on a higher level. And this is gonna be permanent for a lot of regulatory firms or 
firms that have to comply to regulatory controls over time. You can also push out policies and configurations with Microsoft Intune to the devices that are enrolled, such as the password and lockout screen that I reflected earlier. With user enrollment, you have this lightweight MDM solution that gives a little bit of peace of mind and still allows you to separate out corporate versus personal data on that device. You can also push out all the applications that you want to be managed applications of which they can transfer corporate data back and forth. And you can ultimately control the device lifecycle as well too with ABM and the automated deployment profiles that you can set up as well too. Being able to set those out, push them directly to the end users, and then wipe them and hand them off to another user after that point in time. So the only prerequisites I'll mention here, you need to have an MDM push certificate set up within Microsoft Intune to be able to manage any Apple device. And I created a video on this, so I'll link below that you guys can check out if you're not familiar. You need that ABM account set up or Apple School Manager account set up at the customer level. It does go through an approval process, it takes up to five days, but you can generally call and get it expedited too if you need to. And then for user enrollment, iOS devices just have to be 13.1 or greater for users to be able to do that. So like I mentioned, guys, I'm going to be creating individual videos for both the user enrollment and the automated device enrollment solutions you have there for corporate and BYOD devices. So stay tuned for that and check those out if you want to see those individually. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content. Thanks and have a great day.